Yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I definitely believe that travel is a mind-expanding drug. Uh, travel exposes us to novel, to new situations. New situations trigger new impressions, new reflections, new thoughts. And all of that, of course, is mediated by neurochemistry, which means that we, we're getting high. We're, we're getting a chemical rush from this exposure to novelty, from travel. And of course, you know, it seems obvious because to travel is to see different ways of seeing the world. You know, not just seeing different parts of the world, but different ways of seeing the world because different cultures operate under different linguistic principles, different belief systems, different virtual realities, different reality tunnels, different lenses of interpretation. And again, we see with our lenses and we see through our lenses, but we don't always see the lenses themselves. But when we travel, we become aware of our own lenses by virtue of being exposed to the lenses of others. See, seeing these different customs, seeing these different beliefs, and seeing that those people take those beliefs for granted is like, oh wow, so from their vantage point, that's what's true. Therefore, since they see things differently, they must have different lenses, because clearly they're seeing things differently. So if they have lenses, then I have lenses, and for the first time you can see your own lenses. And that's the kind of awakening that travel can lead to. And I believe that exposure to different cultures and different places heightens in people an openness to new experiences. I think it literally liberalizes people. It'll take a conservative perspective and broaden it to a more liberal, open-minded perspective, is, is my belief. Similar to what has been reported with psychedelics, people who have done psychedelics and had positive experiences with them then report a heightened openness to new experiences in their day-to-day -day lives. So I think, it's to, it, it, I guess you, there's a term called opiated adjacency, when you're cracked open by a new experience, exposure to awe. You know, awe is an experience of such perceptual expansion that you have to reconfigure your mental models of the world, your ideas about reality to accommodate the new experience. So whether it's seeing the Grand Canyon for the first time or exposing yourself to images of the Hubble Space Telescope, seeing the universe, you know, or something as simple as going to another country and seeing a different religion and custom, now you're models of reality are broadened. Now you have to reaccommodate yourself to take into account this new perspective. And what that does is afterwards leaves you with increased feelings of openness, increased feelings of well-being, a boost in creativity, you know, a boost in empathy and compassion. So it's a win, 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 win. I don't care how you get to the top of the mountain, whether it's through travel or psychedelics or whatever it may be. Once you get to the top, you see more. Right? Jerry Garcia says to get really high, and that is a metaphor or a literal example, whatever you choose. To get really high is to forget yourself and to forget yourself is to see everything else.